if you are repairing anything that runs on electricity then it is a good idea to have an isolation transformer if you have an isolation transformer it does that mean you will not get an electric shock before talking about it you should watch following video clip I was trying to repair a uh, an adapter, small adapter. These two wires are coming from. Uh, they are first coming from an isolation transformer. Then there is a bulb in series. So even after that, when I touched, I accidentally touched both the wires. So you have an isolation transformer. You can get an electric shock, given that you touch both the wires. If you touch uh, one of them, that would be fine but obviously you shouldn't touch any of them but make contact with one of them you will not get electric shock and if you compare that to the main voltage if you touch the live wire you will get a nasty electric shock because you your body is grounded the painful electric shock you saw me getting was uh, obviously an electric shock so it had to hurt but less painful than the electric shock you get from live wire it is hard to explain what the difference is between uh, the electric shock that you get from the mains voltage and uh, from a small isolation transformer and the mains voltage is it is like if you are hitting your uh, if you hit yourself with a hammer a big hammer that would be uh, the electric shock from mains voltage and if you get an electric shock from isolation transformer it's like pinching yourself with a needle or perhaps a big needle because it is still an electric shock and it still hurts and it is not pleasant if you like the video please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel